What's going on guys, the Inhuman Peak Dan and I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Suit Up, where we have a look at a brand new outfit and tell you if it's worth getting or worth passing. This time, we'll be finishing up the Phoenix 5... 4... It's so weird to say. Phoenix 5, only 4 outfits. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be having a look at the Phoenix 5 Emma Frost, who so far is the only Spec Ops hero to ever have an alternate outfit. I say that now and Doom's going to get his future foundation out. No way, he's not a Spec Ops hero. Nope. Damn it. Right. Iceman, forgot. <laughs> Anyways. She was the first Spec Ops hero. Albeit she was the second Spec Ops hero ever released, but that's besides the point. She was the first to get an alternate outfit. And her alternate outfit gives her the power of cosmic power. Er. Now what does that do? Well, it raises all stats for 110 or one round and removes both most debuffs. So basically it's her level 3 ability. That is level 3, right? Yeah. Her unlock potential ability, which is good because you don't have to wait for the cooldown and it could help with battles. That's it. Done. Da -da 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 -da. No. So Emma Frost's buff, it does seem nice because this doesn't have a cooldown rate unlike her ability. I really wish I could just look at it without having a augmented slot available. Now let's go back to her infiltrator outfit and take a look at her stats. They're pretty okay. Her attack and defense are obviously her high points because, well, she can do both physical and psychic power to beat the shit out of you. So overall, I if I had to rank the Phoenix 5 characters, by the way, I'm totally going to say eh, pick up Emma if you have her, but at her price range of 200 command points, you may or may not have her as she was a Spec Ops hero. On top of that, paying more command points for her, for her uh, outfit, but again, it goes along my lines. It's her only outfit, and you're better off having that one buff than not having it. Especially since hers is actually useful. So I'm going to give a recommendation of buy, but if I had to make a recommendation of what order to get them in, I'm going to have to call, I'm going to have to do it like this. Phoenix, Colossus, Emma Frost, and Cyclops. Sorry, Psych, I love you and everything, but your buff is terrible. <laughs> Anyways. And the only reason I ranked Colossus higher than Emma Frost is because he cost 15 command points. Does he cost 15? I think he may cost a little bit more. The point is, he's not 200 command points. So, puts him a little bit higher than Emma. And Sykes' passive is just absolutely terrible. And he has a better outfit. But yeah, Emma Frost, I recommend getting her, but... Or I recommend getting her alt if you have her. But I'm going to have to call Phoenix as the overall get of this buy. Just because she's amazing. And Magic doesn't have an outfit. That's just her standard outfit. Yay! Fiery Sword included. Anyways. So that'll actually finish this up for the uh, Phoenix 5 outfits. So yeah. For those of you who aren't paying attention, order goes as follow. Get them in this order. Phoenix 5 Phoenix. Colossus. Emma Frost, pass on Cyclops. Yeah. Unless you really want the series. So anyways, until next time guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.